on gamma and see on what times s times x over a s plus s minus lambda x and then alpha times mu mass s times x times s over k s plus s times gamma x times beta plus times x for the MATLAB result this is the figure we can see that at time 20 hours the, all the parameters reach a constant value and then the product produced is around 200 grams per liter right. for the design of the tank the maximum allowable stress of the wall is 72,400 kPa Converting it to PSI, we get 10,442.71 PSI. We consider it as a hemispherical head and it's a double welded butt joint that is fully with the graph. So our, the volume of the tank is 500 liters, which will equal to 5 meter cubic. So our, the height of the tank is equal to twice the diameter of the tank, while the, the, while the Height of the liquid is equal to 0.7 of the height of the tank. So, solving this uh, equations, we get this design. So, for the diameter of the tank, we get uh, 1.48 meters or 58.2 inches, while the radius of the tank is 0.78 meters or 30.71 inches. The height of the tank we get 2.96 meters or 116.64 inches well the height of the liquid of the tank is we get 2.8 meters or 81.9 inches so we can see so solving we get the diameter and the height after which you have to get the internal pressure so using the equations of PG height of the liquid plus ATM. So the density of the banana piece is 8,000 kgmb. Well, multiplying it by gravity and the liquid uh, height of the liquid plus one ATM. So through solving, we get the internal pressure of 264.56 kPa or 38.7 psi. So you uh, uh, solving the design shall decide the equation PR is equal to PR over SW EJ plus 0.6 P plus uh, plus uh, corrosion added value. So TS is equal to 38.7 psi times the radius of 30.71 multiplied with the SW or the natural allowable stress. And times it, and multiplying it with the EJ, which is a double butt well, uh, double butt fully radiograph. And my and, and minus in point six of the pressure while adding a uh, one over sixteen allowance for corrosion. So solving this solving the shell design we get point seven seventeen point six six inches or four point forty eight millimeters. After solving the shell design, we will need to solve the uh, head design. So the head design, we first get the crown radius which is equal to the diameter, the diameter of the tank minus 6 inches. So the crown diameter is equal to 58.27 inches minus 6. So getting the crown diameter, we get 1. 1.33 meters or 52.27 inches. So solving the head design, so head design is equal to the pressure times the crown radius over the maximum allowable, uh, maximum allowable stress times EJ minus 0.2 pressure plus corrosion added is 1 over 16. So solving it, solving the head design is equal to 38. 0.71 psi times 72.27 inches over the maximum allowable uh, stress which is 10,442.7 psi times 1 minusing 0.2 of the pressure 
plus adding 1 over 6 inches for corrosion. So, solving this equation, we get 0 0.2564 inches or, point, or, or 61, uh, 6.51 millimeters. So, after solving the head and the head and shell design, we have to solve the imperative design. So, the turbine design. So, in these parameters, we can solve the diameter impeller, the height of the impeller from the bottom, the width of the blade, the thickness of the blade, and the length of the blade. So, solving, the, uh, solving those equations, this is the summary of the turbine design. So, for the diameter of the impeller, which is one-third of the diameter of the tank, we get point. 5 meters or 19.69 inches while the height of the impeller from the bottom is it is same with the diameter of the impeller which 0.5 is 0.5 meters is equal to 16.19.16 inches while the width of the blade we can see that it is one fifth of the diameter of in the impeller so solving the width of the blade we get 0.1 meter or 39 or, or 9 point at uh, 3 point for 94 inches so while well, the thickness of the baffle is equal to 1 over 12 times the diameter of the tank solving it we get 0.13 meters is equal to uh, meters or 5.12 inches while well, the number of baffles is 4 and the length of the blade is same with the thickness of the baffle so, length of the blade is equal to 1, 1 over 4 of the diameter of the feather. So, after getting inside of the turbine design, we have to get the power. So, for getting the power, require, the power required, we have to get the MP, the power coloration, versus the... Reynolds number. So using this graph, uh, uh, get using this graph, we can get the MP if we solve the Reynolds number. So the Reynolds number can be solved by the if, uh, diameter of the impeller times the speed, which is which is 250 revs, uh, RPM times the density over the viscosity. So solving it, solving the Reynolds number, we get 38, we get 3,856, which is a laminar, which is in the flow of transition. So the power design is equal to KT times twice of the N uh, RPN times the diameter, uh, times the diameter, and feather diameter times uh, and feather diameter to the fifth is to the fifth times density. So solving, so getting the MP, which uh, we you know, which we uh, know, MP, getting the MP, and we classify this as a six blade disc. So we can see in the in the graph that we get six as the MP. So solving it, solving it, so M, so solving it six times the I you know, the N, which we have to be in uh, seconds, raised to 3 times the diameter uh, of the impeller, which is 0.5 raised to 5 times the density. So solving it, we get 12,000 at uh, 12.15 kilowatts or 16.29 horsepower. So this is the final design of the reactor. So now that we have finalized the parameters, design, and the analysis of our proposed bioreactor tank. Now as engineers, we need to know how much will building and operating this bioreactor tank and the plant itself will cost us. So for the Casting computation, we will be using this table of exponents for 
the equipment cost as a function of its capacity. Obviously, as the capacity of a bioreactor tank um, increases, we expect that it will be more pricier or more expensive. So in our study, we will be, we will be using this reactor cost equation. CP3, where in CP2 is equal to CP1 uh, times quantity V2 over V1 raised to the exponent, and from the table in the previous slide. Where CP1 is the price of a bioreactor tank with a capacity of V1. We will be using this um, example. Uh, it's, a, it's an actual price and capacity of a bioreactor tank sold in Alibaba. It is a 60 liter TO4 stainless steel bucket foam brewing fermentation tank for wine and beer, ferment, for wine, for wine and beer fermentation. With an hunger gear designed storage container by D. Bosch Home Brewing. And it, it costs $240 and has a, has a capacity of 60 liters. So applying the formula, like this formula, you will get uh, a $2,856.73 cost for a bioreactor tank with a capacity of 5,000 liters. Which is our design. So, converting it to Philippine peso, using from the uh, forex as of March 30, 2018, um, approximately building this buyer after that in the Philippines will cost us 148,949.90 Philippine pesos. So, now that we know how much. Uh, we building this fire after the tank will cost. We, ne we now get to the computation for the operating or the power cost. So as of for our basis, as of January, uh, from our January 2018 Maralco bill, we have seen that for every kilowatt hour, it cost us uh, 8.72 pesos. And Will be in, in our bioreactor plant, we will be assuming that it is operating for at least eight hours a day. So here is the power cost formula ring. Uh, power cost is equal to cost of kilowatt hour over the power times time time used times power required. So in our um, bioreactor tank plant, um, we have computed that this plant will cost us. 847.85 cents um, approximately in operating this plant per day. We uh, have discussed the economic side of building and operating of our bioreactor tank. We also need to consider its effects on the environment and to the people located near our plant. As you all know, the production of bioethanol utilizes the concept of fermentation. And in fermentation, it's not only the bioethanol that gets produced, we also have the molasses. And molasses, if untreated, should not be disposed to the environment since um, since it has large concentrations of BOD, COD, along with its dark color, um, acidity, turbidity, toxicity, and many other bad characteristics that should be addressed. So in our bioethanol plant, we are proposing that we build our own treatment facility for the molasses.